Okay, so question one was, what is the name of Maleficent's raven in Sleeping Beauty? I don't remember. Diablo. Yeah, what, Maven. Diablo. Oh. Is it Maven the Raven? <laughs> <laughs> Did you nod when I'd said that then, Becca? What? Edgar. <laughs> no, it's Danny, I'm afraid. What's, what's, the real, what's the correct answer? Diablo. 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 Yeah. It means devil in Spanish. Mm, yeah. Wrong. I wasn't sure, so I put Bob. <laughs> that's the theme that, ben that's a similar theme to my answers all the way through this one i don't know something <laughs> for oh, some reason well i would have hoped this one was a little bit easier for some reason like trivia wise i, I try to remember all the animals names because they come up really a lot a during lot. quizzes so yeah bob is mike wazowski in paris <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's called right, Becca. Bob. there you go right so question two was how many years was the genie stuck in the lamp? I know this one. I know that one. Ten thousand years. Ten thousand years. Oh, I missed off a zero. Such a in the neck. Neck. Yeah. Uh, what was the original title of Pirates of the Caribbean Salazar's Revenge, which is still used in the United States? Dead Men Tell No Tales. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got that. The better title. <laughs> Go on. A much better title. I see, I didn't get that one, Lloyd, but I It's the only one I know. <laughs> this one was a tough one I'll be honest yeah, I've, taken a, I've taken a stab at this as well what was the first live action film created by Disney no. is, it, is it one of the animal ones is it something like Wild Kingdom nope I went to ah. Family Robinson Treasure <sighs> Island yes Treasure oh, Island yes. Oh, that was a guess total, total guess, guess. Oh. well done what is the name of the mansion the puppies are held in in 101 Dalmatians Something Hall. Hell Hall. Hell Hall. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Oh. I thought it'd be Hotel Deville. Yeah, I had Deville <laughs> Manor. Yeah. I'm hoping you all got this one. No. No. <laughs> what three things do Wendy and her brothers need to fly in Peter Pan? Pixie dust. Pixie dust. Come on, Pixie guys. dust. Belief. Pixie, pixie dust. Belief. And an no, Esther. Faith. No. <laughs> Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Faith, trust, and a little bit of pixie dust. Was it trust? Can I have half a mark for belief? No. 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 Why not? (laughs) Just because it doesn't rhyme. You should know that. That's one of the most iconic Disney lines. It's on all, like, their like posters i haven't that. bothered queuing for peter to, pan for the last sort of four times i've been it's one. on everything not just peter pan and it has to be pixie dust not fairy dust yes pixie dust she's a pixie i wrote pixie fairy dust fairy. and then i changed it to fairy time. dust and then it was ah oh, yeah I, fair <laughs> enough i I, mean, uh, I respect the rules is, of the adjudicator is that one point or three one one who Sorry. is mulan's guardian Mushu. 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 yes i got that right Another yeah. I had an issue with the autocorrect. It kept coming up mushy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. For so one of Claire's. So one for that. I'll tell you which one when it comes up. My autocorrect came up as Garden Lily. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on, I'm on two for your round so far, Becca. Thank you. Yay. What is the name of the cat in Cinderella? Lucifer. 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 Oh, I got it wrong. I couldn't remember. Okay. What is it, sorry? Lucifer. 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 Devil cat. Lucifer, if you want to go Gus Gus's version. Yeah, next question. <laughs> what, what was Tiana's dream in The Princess and the Frog? To, to win the voice. <laughs> <laughs> to own her own restaurant. To own oh, yeah. her own restaurant. I got was that it? I've never yeah. got that in a million years. Have you seen it. the film? No. Yeah. I thought well, it was set sort of olden times, not like modern day where she could have a restaurant. It's a big part of the film. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, it's like the main part. The second main part, yeah. maybe. I know she's got like a Firefly friend. Uh, that's about as much as I know. That's more than me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, her name's Tiana. Oh, it's that's gorgeous. Strange. Brilliant film. Yes. So yeah, yeah, watch it. <laughs> And last but not least, which flavour medicine does Mary Poppins drink? Rum punch. Gin. Oh, I put Rum sugar punch. plum. Yes. I put gin, yeah. Rum I, put, in the skies, though. I put blueberry. I did yep. better on that than I thought. So, yeah, yeah. I did about what I thought. I got two. I got six. <laughs> two. I got six. three. I got six. Three. I got I got two. 
I want a steward's inquiry into Ben getting six out of ten then. Six. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Although you both, you know, you're married, you share the same interests. You imagine you watch the same sort of things, and so I think you should be disqualified, really, from that round. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, most of those out of Becker's, Google, right? Yeah, unchecked out Becca's browsing history on Google. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> right, how many did I get on that one? Yeah, yes. How many did everyone get? Six. Uh, seven. Six. Six. Three. Seven. Two. One. Activate. Seven. <laughs> how many did you get, Sammy? Ted Rogers is in seven. the room. Six. <laughs> yeah, I got six. Gee, they weren't that bad. Okay, so for Pixar questions, so number one was, where does A13 <clears throat> appear in Up? I think so it's a courthouse. Yeah. It was Cole's home address, a courthouse, or on a Piper construction site? I think it's courthouse. Oh, I think it's a courthouse I address. It's court address, yeah. Oh, dang it. Yeah. That's the one I had first That's... and I changed it. I changed it as well. We just watched a video about it on YouTube yesterday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, question two was, what type of car is Finn McMissile? Ferrari, Fiat, or Aston Martin? Is that, is that one of the Cars Aston movies? Yeah. Cars yeah. 2. Is it, is it Michael Caine's character? Yeah. 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 Aston Martin. Aston Martin. Yes. Cleaning up this Never around the comeback. I was like, he's definitely not a Ferrari, because that's what Lightning is. And yeah. he's definitely not a Fiat, because you can't have a name like Missile and be a Fiat. Lightning's not a Ferrari. What is he? <laughs> I know he's definitely not a Ferrari. That's a NASCAR, <laughs> is he some type of NASCAR? Yeah, but it looks like a Ferrari. Because so. Ferrari is when... Isn't he a Corvette? I think so. Probably. But no. think that missile's going to be an Aston Martin because it's <coughs> one takeoff. In which year was Finding Nemo released? 2001, 2003 or 2005? I put three. I put three. 2003. Yeah. Yay! Wrong! In Toy Story, what is the name of Sid's dog? Scud. 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 Yep. Scud. Ah, here we go with S. Damn it. I couldn't decide between A and B, and I went wrong. Spike or Scud. Yeah, yeah. That, that was exactly the same, Becca. I just couldn't get put my finger on which one it was. Uh, what fraternity did Mike Wazowski join in Monsters University? Who's Macapa? Who's Macapa? Yeah, who's Macapa? Which one was that? A, B, or C? That was A. In, in cars, the Piston Cup is held at what venue? Texas Motor Speedway, Daytona International Speedway, or Los Angeles International Speedway? I, guess. I put Daytona, but it was a guess. I went Daytona as a guess. It wasn't, it wasn't Daytona. Oh. Is it Texas? It was, no, it was Los Angeles. Oh, really? Was it? Yeah, I've was never Paris. done LA. I'm not doing well oh, here. Oh, only, I guessed A. Only because it's Route 66. And yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. It was a guess. Well done. <laughs> In Coco, what? Does Miguel's family make for a living? Shoes. Shirt or shoes. 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 Yeah, shoes. I've not seen it yet. <laughs> I know, I need to, I need to. I just don't want to yeah. greet, I need to make... It will make you it. cry. Exactly, so I need to wait for a time where yeah. I'm not a good greet, do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a really good film. Remember me. <laughs> <laughs> and remember that little soundbite when you're having a really... <laughs> Soft cry moments. But I'm so but I just remember Lloyd like me. <laughs> no, this place is more poco loco, but Yeah. <laughs> okay, what Pixar character says, no matter how many times you save the world, it always manages to get back in jeopardy again. It's Mr. Incredible. Incredible. That's like yeah, or Mike Wazowski. I'm thinking Mr. Incredible. Incredible. It's Mr. Incredible. Yes. 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 So where do toys Woody, Buzz and Jesse find themselves trapped in Toy Story Three? Sunnyside! Yep. What a thought, B! Yes. Yeah, that was B. Yeah. And the last question was, the character Syndrome in Incredibles has superpowers. True or false? False. Yes. False. 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 Yeah. false. Yes. That's my round, baby. That's my round. <laughs> what did you get? Eight. I got oh. nine. Nine. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I got eight. I'm not. I'm not playing against anybody else. I'm just playing against myself. <laughs> <laughs> so at eight, I'm going to sleep well tonight. Yeah. That makes up for the previous round. I did really badly in the. <laughs> yeah, I was awful in the previous round. I was happy with Mushu though, considering I haven't seen Mulan. Sorry, is there a Disney film you have seen, Lloyd? <laughs> um, I've seen all the Toy Stories now. 
<laughs> That's Pixar. Well done. Well done. I've seen Frozen's, although I didn't understand Frozen 2. <laughs> Nobody does. You're all right. Uh, I've done Frozen 1. Yeah, I've seen all the Mighty Ducks films. <laughs> but it was, that was like 25 like years ago. Question. Uh, but now I've got Disney Plus. There's no excuse. Uh, I'm get through them all now. Exactly. You need to watch Pocahontas. No, um, but I know the original story, so I'll watch. That. Is it authentic? No, uh, not in the slightest. It's not. Right. It's Disney. Not, it's Disney. None of it's authentic. <laughs> The, the Mulan live action looks quite good. I might just skip the animated one and watch the live one. Oh, the animated one's so good, though. Yeah, Eddie yeah. Murphy's Mushu. That's, like, my, in my top three favourite Disney movies. Uh, Eddie Murphy's Mushu, is he? Yeah. 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 Right. He's amazing. I'll watch it just for that. Yeah. 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 Eddie Murphy. Or yeah. Back in it's his good. heyday. It's good. Kind of, yeah. yeah. He's kind of like a, a slight version on Donkey. Donkey and Mushu <laughs> are... Okay, okay so okay. question one. Which venue in Disney Springs offers air to a shorty Singapore sling in the profession of you? That was Jock Lindsay. Yes. That's my only one. That, that was, was a guess. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> question two. What are the key ingredients of Beaches and Cream kitchen sink? Ice cream. So was three, and brown. three points on offer. Cream. Ice cream, very specific. every cream. topping in the house and a whole can of whipped cream. Exactly. Ice cream. I've eaten one of them. Chocolate. Every Oops. topping in the house and a whole can of whipped cream. So I got. Two. I was going to yeah. pick that up too. But I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Okay. What did you mean? Okay, which bakery. Let's type of toppings. Which bakery has a cupcake ATM? Sprinkles. 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 I knew that. Ah. Springs. Couldn't remember that. Um, I've got this wrong. Okay. Uh, question four: Where would you find the breakfast lasagna and puffed ear donuts? Wolfgang Puck Express. Crystal Palace. No. Crystal Palace. I went. Crystal Palace. Palace breakfast. Yeah. Oh. Crystal Palace breakfast. No. Oh. I got confused. Breakfast pizza. I just got it for the. Um, lasagna. Yeah, yeah. It's the only place you can get breakfast lasagna. Yeah. Because um, I've been looking through like all the menus and stuff. And it's really good. It's really bad for you, but it's really good. <laughs> I should have known that. I've had some puff bread. We, we, we've been there several times, but because we're not going allowed to go anymore. No, just this or trip. Just this trip. Well, I'm going back and banned from the Crystal Palace. <laughs> no, no. We've been banned for just what did you do? Apparently, we're not allowed to visit any restaurants I've been to before. Oh, oh. I thought oh, you'd I'm misbehaved finished. and you weren't allowed back. And I thought you'd touched poo inappropriately. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've, sto- I've, stopped, I've stopped going to the Crystal Palace because it just it winds me up so much. If you go for breakfast and you're sitting there and you know there's no queue, no queues for all the rides, and we're wasting it having breakfast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go no, about ten when you see the no, trolley no, show going there. past and you're like, oh. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like <laughs> so you do it opposite way around. Go do the rides first and have yeah. a later breakfast. It still winds yeah. me up because I know that I'm missing. I'm missing the park at the quietest time. <laughs> opening time. Yeah. Question five: Where would you find famous grapefruit cake? Jill, I know you have that. You'll get this. Brown Derby. Brown Derby. Brown Derby. Yeah. Oh. They give you the oh, recipe on a little little hat shaped piece of paper. And it's still. Oh, I thought it'd be somewhere in the Polynesian resort. It'd be in pineapple. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Yeah. Grapefruit. Did you say grapefruit? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, I must my up zoned out. <laughs> question. <laughs> I was doing so badly. I think I was still thinking about the ATM question at that point. <laughs> I was thinking pineapple's got to be definitely Polynesian resort, so probably Ohana, I'll guess. Okay. But it's grapefruit. Brilliant. Sorry. And Jill's actually talked about the grapefruit one. She yeah. has. Yeah. About the grapefruit oh, for, yeah. Why didn't you yeah. say grapefruit, Claire? <laughs> <laughs> okay, which venue became the topic of the social media frenzy in 2019 when it stopped giving away something for free? Gary Daly's. Gary Daly's. Yeah. Yeah. Gaia Ladino's Gaia Ladino's fix. Gaia Ladino's giving away free chocolate samples for about a week and then the, the whole social media outcry and then they started again. Ben, can you look at my answer sheet and just adjudicate the way I've spelt it? Yeah. I think I've given I've given the feeling of similar. it. You know I know what I, what I mean. Isn't it Shannon? Gaia Ladino's. 
<laughs> yeah, it'd be fine. What's his stage name? Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> well, it's fine bit. Chocolate shop. <laughs> Question seven. What's the most popular snack at the Kringla Bakery Og Cafe? Which school is in bread. Norway and Epcot. School yeah, school, school bread. bread. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't hear you when you said, I thought you said Olga um, Cafe. <laughs> so I was thinking of Olga Cantina. So I said Blue Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Should have paid more attention. All no. right. Question eight. Where would you enjoy a Nautilus, an Oa, a Hippopotamite, and a Tiki 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 Rum? Trader Sam. Trader Sam's um, Grog Grotto. Uh, that was the Polynesian. I put Polynesian Sam's because I couldn't remember the first part. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not happening, Becca. No, nice no. try, but. You've got Sam's, but no. Got Sam's. No, no, that's not counting. Question nine. What are the names of three pizza ovens inside Via Napoli? No, no idea. Not a clue. Tom, Dick and Harry. Know those. No. Well, I could tell oh, really? you. Oh, well, well, Strombol- no, that's the... They, they are Ent, Etna, Vesuvius and Stromboli, the three oh. volcanoes in Italy. Oh. Oh. I was trying to remember the names of the three tenors. <laughs> 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 thinking, oh, what Italian are they? Yeah. 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 Oh. Pacino, Domingo and Carrera. It's only one of them is Italian. Yeah. Um, uh now question 10 is really hard i'm sorry uh california crazy architecture of gertie the dinosaur was on echo lake but why is she there because only water will support the weight of a brontosaurus if it were to leave the water of the lake it would not survive (laughs) (laughs) and that you could take that to the bank i feel like giving you a clue a proper paleontologist answer that you can't dispute that yeah i'm definitely going to dispute that i want to see a degree (laughs) does anybody know why Gertie's there is it something to do with ice cream no so Gertie the dinosaur was the first animated dinosaur in the days before the multiplane camera so oh, she was yeah. the first uh, animation of a dinosaur ever um, oh, okay. and just a bit of bit of geeky information it took over 14 and a half thousand individual drawings on rice paper to actually make her look like she was 3D Hmm. so she's animation history that's why she's there so what you're telling me is i got the i got the answer wrong (laughs) got it wrong sorry and they got got rid of that blue blue sorceress hat instead of gertie i know she's ugly but it's very specific architectural style apparently called california crazy where they used to make things in the shape of whatever they were selling so you'd have a massive hot dog selling hot dogs wait is there a is there a food in gertie yes nuggets (laughs) <laughs> oh right oh I knew that. do you know what it'd be quite cool if they just submerged like an x-wing in echo lake now that'd be quite good like Anything um other than it the would fit, it? yeah it would it'd be quite good like uh, i think it's episode four five six seven episode eight isn't it with the mm-hmm. sub- you submerged it under the sea right, four, um, this round this okay. is where i come back are we ready <laughs> yes how many countries outside the USA have Disney parks? Four. Four. Three. Ah, four. Well, it depends. Four. Is Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong and Shanghai Hong Kong. are the same country? It's the yeah. It's the, it's uh, China. Yeah. The answer, yeah. The answer is three. Japan, yes. France and China. Oh. Hong Kong Disneyland opened in 2005. Um, Hong Kong was handed back to China in 1997. So by the time Hong Kong Disneyland opened, Hong Kong was part of China. Hong Kong is a dependency. It's not actually yeah, part wow. of China. Ooh. It belongs to China. My brother used to mm. live there. It's... <laughs> you, get to help, you get him to help, Claire. Ooh. It's three. It's a it's dependency. Three. It's four. You can have that argument. It's three. 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 inquiry. Okay. Number two. Which was the first Disney park to open outside the USA? Fifteenth of April nineteen eighty three. Number three, the first partner statue appeared in Disneyland, but what decade? Sixties. Really surprised me. I was back to the nineties, it's much later than you think. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it's the nineties, it only dates from oh. nineteen ninety three. Yeah. That really surprised me. It shocked me when I first found that. Right, number four. If you've been on a Disney cruise, you may have seen the show The Golden Mickeys, but in which park could you see the same show? I put Shanghai. Tokyo Hong Sea. Kong. 
It's Hong Kong. Oh, that was a Tokyo. guess. Yeah. The only part that has it. Okay, number five. Which countries do not have Main Street USA in their parks? Japan and China. Yeah, that's why I put Japan yeah, and China. Put. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Tokyo has Main Street World Bazaar and Shanghai has Mickey Avenue. Number six. What does Hong Kong have? Hong Kong has Main Street USA, apparently. So therefore, China don't oh, have Hong Kong. Question one is four. Ooh, that, that's a good point. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so question one four then. That's that's good. Good. Oh, four, right? No, that is a very good point. Okay. Oh, so which question is which answer which is which for which okay. question? Okay. The latest question. I would say the latest question is this. Okay. Right. Number six. Most castles are named after a particular princess, but which one is not? Shanghai. 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 It has it's enchanted story. storybook. Remember whether it was Hong Kong or Shanghai. Yeah. yeah, Shanghai. Number seven. The expansion plan for Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris features new lands based on Marvel, Star Wars, and which Disney animated film? Frozen. 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 Yeah, that was the easy one. Disney California Adventure Park's Paradise Pier area was rethemed and renamed in 2018. What is it called now? Pixar Pier. Pixar Pier. Pixar Pier. Yeah, and it looks amazing. Not that I've seen it in real life, but there you go. <laughs> Number nine. What was the original name of Disneyland Paris, which some people think is still its name? You're a Disney. You're a Disney. You're a Disney. You're a Disney Resort. Yep. You can have Euro Disney. It was Thank apparently you. briefly renamed Euro Disneyland Paris from June to September yep. 1994. And then it became Disneyland Paris in October 1994. But in March 2002 to April 2009, they changed it to Disneyland Resort Paris. But then in Indeed. April 2009, they reverted back to Disneyland Paris. So if you collect pins with the resort's name on, you're going to have a collection. collection. Yeah. Or mugs. I have a couple yeah. of mugs of mugs. random names. Yeah. So, number 10, last one. Which of these classic Disneyland attractions was not there on opening day? It was Dumbo. Mm. Mm. I guess. Uh, I guess. Dumbo mm. opened in July 1955. Mm. Mm. Dumbo didn't open until a month later. Oh, I'm six, seven. Oh. Obviously wasn't ready. Oh, five. Seven. I'm doing exactly as I expected to do, so I'm happy. That's good. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. Yeah. I've got John Neal. <laughs> right, here we go. What was this? Is, this, this is strange because this followed on from Jill's one, didn't it? In Magic Kingdom, which of these wasn't an opening day attraction? Hall of Presidents, Haunted Mansion, or Carousel of Progress? Carousel of Progress, I think. Carousel of, Carousel of Progress. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. So was I. Yeah. It was Carousel. I, was I knew I should have gone with my first instinct. Which is strange, but it actually, when you think about it, mm. it until 75 when they put Tomorrowland in. Mm. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah, true. Well, just. And again, goes back to the conversation we had about Haunted Mansion. I think you said it last week, Becca, about just how amazing some of the animatronics are within that when you consider that it was an opening day ride. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I knew anyway. Pirates wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I was really hoping Pirates was going to be one of the options because I knew that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't put that in until everybody started asking, where's Pirates? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. Which company was the original sponsor for It's a Small World? Yeah, I think mine. Kodak. Yes, I was going to say what? AT&T, but it's whoever was before AT&T. No, I thought absolutely. their previous I, subsidiary I, I, was. I bet Hershey's. This is a really odd one because it was Mattel. Oh. And okay. Then, Right, and then in 1998, they actually changed, moved their sponsorship to the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin when it opened. Okay. Right. Replaced Dreamflight. Okay. It's a bit odd. Ooh. Um, date did Animal Kingdom open? I think on the 20th of April 1998. Yeah, I'll give you that. I only got so, the year. Um, yeah, I only got the year. I thought I, I was going to have the date wrong. I know it's Earth Day. Can I get it is Earth Day. Yeah. Yeah. 
I knew it was Earth Day. But I know it's Earth Day. It'll be it. No. Do you have to get the full date for it to be a point? Oh, go on, yeah. I'm going to be tight because I've not, not got many points. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh. Can I have a half, John? <clears throat> what no. have you got, Lloyd? 1998, that's all I've got. No, I need I need the April bit. But I've got no points so far the round, so I'm no competition. Right, right, on question three. I'm not very hopeful. <laughs> oh, I'm hopeful. I've got right. No, I've got, I've got bugger all points here. I'm struggling. Question six, right, and after that, it's just guesses. <laughs> right, in Epcot, how many torches circle World Showcase? Ten. I guessed at ten, but... 120. I wrote down the countries and counting. Oh, I haven't got a single was, one of these right yet. Yeah, it was 19, but it's to represent. See, it's obvious if you know, but it was to represent each of the millennia. Oh, each, oh. each millennia. And then the 20th torch that appears at the end of Illuminations is, it again? is called the Unity Torch, which was the next question. Oh. Oh, well. so that's the that's the one when the when the the globe yeah. opens and then you get the torch in the middle. So torchy Mc torch face is wrong then. <laughs> Simon is also very, wrong. Very incorrect. Sorry, I was just did one of them horrible things. Five. Brilliant. I got twenty to twenty torches. I put oh, one yeah. out. Oh, one oh, torch. I, I, I had the same line of thought as Becca. One for each. Country, well, yeah. Country. Yeah. Okay. country, that's what I meant. One for country. I've I couldn't decide whether they doubled it for it or left it as one age. No, nah, right, let's move on. Question six. Park icon for Hollywood Studios before they put the hat in. Water tower with ears. The yeah. ear tower. The earful tower. Oh. The earful ear, ear tower. tower. I said that. And I it's Do I have to call it its official name or can I have water tower? I'll give you the water tower for that one, Lloyd. One for six. <laughs> <laughs> I said that and doubted myself. Well, it's got more yeah. about more. Yeah, apparently. It was the next question the monorail one? Yes. yes. Right. How many monorails do they currently have in the fleet? Four. Twelve. Twelve. I guessed at fourteen. Twelve is the correct answer. <laughs> no. oh. Oh. And. Claire, your 14 is when you include the pink and the purple one that Which are both been retired. The ones that retired the yeah. yeah. <laughs> purple, I know, is out of commission because someone died. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when they had to stop selling the, um, was it the Starbucks mug? Yeah. That's right, because they had a purple one on it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got as your answer to question eight? How many questions has Lloyd got right? <laughs> Three. Very few. In this round or total? Total of doing more than moderate. me. Okay. This round I have one right so far. <laughs> yeah. One more. I'm, I'm not hopeful about my last three answers. Uh, as, my last, as question nine and ten, I've named after US um, space shuttles. I've just <laughs> not even nine and ten. So what How many ferries? What How many ferries? Two. What's Two. Eight? I've put three. Three fairies. Oh. So you said the next fairies. And then the names of them, there's the Major Major General Joe Potter, which is the blue yeah. one. There's yeah. the Ad- Admiral Joseph Fowler, which is the green one. Yeah. And yeah. then there's the Richard F. Irvin, which is but the red saying... one, which is, which is different. So you said nine and ten yeah. are, the, are the names? Yeah. Just name two of them. You also said, can you name them? And I put no. <laughs> you said yes. <laughs> I can't. Yes, I put that. I get a point I for no. Question <laughs> nine, no, I can't. And question ten, I still can't. <laughs> Technically, those are correct. <laughs> You're not having a point for them. Damn. In that case, I have Major. zero out of ten. I got two. Oh, two. I got one. I got one. one. Good. Okay. Good. I got I got at least then, yeah, at least then, unclear. Uh, Claire's, Claire's staying quiet there. Was that five? There you go. Five. Yeah, I got five. Oh, that's good, that. Well done. I got three. I'm pleased with my two. Answer sheet. <laughs> right, I'll play them. Do you want me to play them just so, and then you can have the answers? Yeah. Why yeah. not? Yeah, like a pub quiz. It. Right, okay, so number one. What's that? Magic band. Tap. Magic oh, band wow. going green. Yes. I put tap styles. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Either, any of them's fine. That's all good. Sound number two. Yeah. 
Did you hear that? Disney cruise ship horn. Yeah. Yeah, Disney cruise ship horn. I put fairy horn. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did not know that. No, it no. doesn't. It doesn't. No. Yeah, I didn't right. know that. Number three. This is a good one on your faces, but people were just getting it. It was clicking. <laughs> yes, we got it. I know what it is now. <laughs> I feel like I've got it right or not. It is, but it's actually the sound of it. It is Typhoon Lagoon and it's just before the wave, but it's on the half hour with Miss Tilly. The boat erupted into the water. You have half a mark for Typhoon Lagoon. No. Wow. I've no. never been to the water park, so that's not no, fair. No, no, no. <laughs> I've never seen, I've seen like two and a half Disney films. Like, <laughs> it's too cold every time we've been. They've been closed. Okay, yeah. next. Yeah, so mark, Typhoon Lagoon, full mark if you get it to the, uh, the boat, and an extra mark if you called it Miss Tilly. Oh. Right. Uh, sound number four. Startles. Startles. Yes. Ah, I got the wrong way around. All right. I kept changing my answer for that one. <laughs> it took me ages no, to get right. there. It's fine. But, like, I got there. All right. Sound number five. This is the... Bit of a horrible one. Sorry? There's kids everywhere in Disney, but it's not necessarily a kids' area. No, not a water park. Sounds like a bit of water there, yeah. Almost like wind as well, but it's not wind on the camera, on the microphone. It's is it the backside of water? No. No. Is it the drop on Everest? No, it's uh, it's at a resort. Oh, oh. Swimming oh pool Grand, and Grand Floridia. Floridia. No, it's at Wilderness Lodge. Oh, the guys are. The guys are yeah. Wilderness Lodge. Blimey. Oh, Come that was on, Lloyd. sort of like could not like sort of weird weird one to put in there. Yeah. Right. So I, I take it no one got that one. Sorry. No. Uh, right. Next one. Where would you hear that? In a lift. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. On the carousel. Um, it's not okay. It. It, it currently <laughs> precedes any announcement on yeah. Disney Cruise Line. On the cruise ship. Oh, yeah, that's why I know. Yes, I, know. I, know. I need to go on a cruise more often. Yeah. Have you have you slept well. Today's activities include jet skiing off the back of the boat. It's the Bruce <laughs> Maddock of the cruise ship. <laughs> Lloyd. Yeah. Lloyd, I didn't think I didn't think that you would include two cruise ship questions. <laughs> I think Lloyd. He did. A lot. Yeah. He did. Lloyd has been underestimated. Right. Number seven. Remain in your vehicle. The area you are entering is extremely dangerous. Proceed with caution. I made it long. I was going to make it short because I thought some people would get it. But I deliberately made it that long. It's not dinosaur, is it? No, that's what I put. Yeah. That's what I put. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the old test track? No, no. it's is it an extinct ride. ride? Oh, it's so what? It's a great movie ride. It's a great movie ride as you move into Alien. Oh. It's, it's oh, not gosh. there anymore. That doesn't care. Oh. <laughs> so as you move around the corner, you see Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, yeah I think that's, I think that's why I want the dinosaur because it's it is yeah totally yeah exactly like recognizable in it. I wouldn't I wouldn't have thought it was anything that's not there anymore. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Be anything. Some of these questions date back to 1998. Yeah, but they're still there. <laughs> Keep going. Right. It's still in my heart. Okay, right, number nine. Number, number eight, sorry. Skyliner. Yeah. Similar to Star Wars. Does that count? <laughs> Yeah, it's very similar because that's what it reminded me of. But it's the Skyliner just before the announcement. Once you got on the Skyliner, 
right. Number nine. I thought it was really characteristic when you hear it. It's characteristic it's sound of thought. So I thought it sounded like construction. It does sound like construction because it's, it yeah, it's thunder? got... So I'm like, we'll, we'll yeah. put the what trunk construction there? down. Tomorrow it is Speedway. the Tomorrowland Speedway. Oh, oh really? never got that. Yeah, no. it's all the way around. You it hit it. like a lift field to me. It did, yeah. It sounded like I a lift thought it was the upslope of... Big Thunder. That's, that's, what, I said, that's what I thought, yeah. John. Purely yeah. just, just, just an engine running. What, what's right, the next one. I, I thought that was an all right one. All right, yeah. next one. Last, Last one. one. Number 10. Escape. Yeah. Which is great, great escape. escape. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah needs to kill people. Get booked out. I so yeah. bad at that. So did I. So did I. I got five. I only got, I got two. I got three. I got five. I got two. Oh, I was, I got, so, so I was gonna make it, I thought it was gonna be easy as well. Oh that was that was a really good round that. Yeah. Which show was the first Disney based IPA on stage on Broadway at the <laughs> I'm beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Isn't that a beer? Right. Yeah. Which was the first show based on a Disney IP to be staged by Disney Theatrical on Broadway and the West End? Lion King. That's a Lion King. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Which songs that featured in Beauty and the Beast, the stage show, appeared in the special edition of the film? Human again. Human yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. I like that song. Well, from the film, anyway. Which famous New York street that had become a centre for adult entertainment was cleared up when Disney said they would open The Lion King in a disused theatre on that street? I put a random street I put in New 42nd York. Street as well. It is 42nd Street. Yes, yes. It's, what a it's guess. an interesting story. Rudy Giuliani was mayor at the time, and basically Disney said to him, we don't want to open somewhere where families aren't comfortable going. And he said, leave it to me. All the sex trade and everything will we'll all be, be, gone, by all be gone by tomorrow. And, and they, they, were. they were. Moved to his and office. He, exactly. <laughs> uh, people have all sorts of theories as to how we did it. Allegedly. Trump, Trump Towers. Yeah. Trump, Trump Towers. Allegedly. Okay, next question. Which song from the stage version of The Lion King was included in the special edition of the film? Morning Report. Was Spirit. Was a, Morning, Morning Report. Morning Report was Morning the only report. one I think that was in the special that wasn't in the original. Was it? Morning Report. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Not in the original film? No. Really? Mm. There you go. I know the original film like the back of my hand. Right. Next. This is a, a reasonably hard one. I got it. Of course you got it. Sometime. I feel like I should have got it. Which non-Disney IP show with music and lyrics by Elton John and Tim Rice did Disney Theatrical bring to the Broadway stage? Is it like, I don't know how you say it, but it's Aida or Aida? Aida. Yeah. 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 And it yeah. with an I. Yeah. It begins with an E, actually. <laughs> you tell him, Sammy. <laughs> Aida, yep, yeah. Okay. Next question. Who owned the stage rights to Mary Poppins when Disney was thinking of making a stage version? I've got Dick Van Dyke or Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was nearly going to go with Michael Jackson. I went with yeah, Peter Travis. He bought the rights for everything, didn't he? Yeah. Who won the stage rights? Cameron McIntosh. Oh. Ah. Oh, he got that as well. Rich man. Who wrote the new version of the original songs and all the new songs for the stage version of Mary Poppins? This is quite obscure. Styles and Drew. Styles and Drew. Yep. Sounds like a ball. <laughs> Who wrote um, several <laughs> oh, several award-winning shows? Yep. Just so, Honk, loads of good stuff. Name one of the Disney IP musicals that have played in Germany, but not in the West End. Tarzan? 
Yeah. Pardon? Tarzan. Tarzan, yeah, yeah that's right. Um, David got, Hasselhoff got, presents yeah. Disney on the Berlin Wall. <laughs> <laughs> and what the could other we have had? Is, pardon? What could we have had? A hunchback of Notre Dame. Hey, that's hey. all Yeah. I'm doing really badly. Abu does not appear in the stage version of Aladdin. How was he replaced? Uh, Danny DeVito. Aladdin's three friends. Yeah, three Aladdin friends. Babcak, Omar, Omar and Kasim. Omar and Kasim. Babcak, Omar and Kasim. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Claire. Um, we Morgan and I have seen it, and he's got that song on his yeah. uh, playlist, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he plays it in my car all the Love time. It. It's a good song. It is a good song. Yeah. It is good. All right. Yeah. yeah. Good song. Last question. I know one person who will know this if nobody yeah. else does. Jade Ewan, who played the original London Jasmine in Aladdin, represented the UK in which annual competition? Eurovision. 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 Yes. Yay. It was, yeah, so I, think I have to admit, I wasn't impressed with her voice, though. Not on Eurovision, but in Aladdin, when we went to see her. Okay, I did better in that run than I thought I was going to. Same here. Okay. okay. Um, the name five things that Rapunzel does during the song. So I'm going to read out the 26 that I have. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read out the 26. And if you don't, if there's, don't have them, then it's not, it's not counting. So it has to be one of these. If you go, but what about this? And it's not on my list, you're not having it. And it's one point if you get five or do you get five No, points? no, no. You get five points. You get one Met point for, for each thing. For each one. Okay, yeah. cool. <clears throat> okay, so. Chores, sweeping, polish, wax, laundry, mop, sweep again, read, paint, play guitar, knit, cook, do puzzles, play darts, bake, paper mache, ballet, chess, pottery, ventriloquy, make candles, stretch, sketch, climb, sew and brush hair. Oh. Yes, yes, five. Five. Yes. Can I, can I have one for dance as ballet? No. Okay. I got brush hair anyway, so I've got one. I got stuck when you said wax. The <laughs> <laughs> girl's got to look after herself, even if she's in a tower job. She's got, she's got to do the waxing, man. She's got to do the waxing. <laughs> she right, okay. Dress. I got dressed. She sold the dress. Yeah. Well, yeah, if it, say, if it says so, then... then... If you got, if you wrote down so, even if you wrote so address, that's fine. As long as you've got so. That, that no, works. I just put dress because she sews a dress. No, nope, that doesn't count. It's not a verb. Because yeah. well, dress could be. It is. It's in the lyrics. Dress. Yeah, what? but you need the verb. No, no, don't get it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so <clears throat> second one. What does the fir- what was the first ever Disney movie to get a soundtrack released? I don't know. I'll put no one. idea. I put Fantasia. Yeah. I went to Jungle Book. I went to Jungle Book. It was Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, the obvious. I wanted to put yeah. Doubting myself. What's annoying is I put that and then changed it to Fantasia. <laughs> I, I thought it was being played with Fantasia yeah. as well, Ben. Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay, what is the next line in the song? Right, so I'll sing the first bit, you sing the second bit. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna, Hakuna Matata, Matata. Ain't, ain't no passing from phrase. <laughs> yeah, it's ain't no passing from phrase. Yeah. Claire is good at that as we are at saying happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Claire is good at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so which of the following movies was not awarded an Oscar? So what did you guys put? Dumbo. Mulan. 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 It was Mulan. Uh, which Disney movie features the song Oodle Alley? <laughs> Robin, Robin Hood. Mulan won an Oscar for music. What? Say that again? I thought Mulan won an Oscar for music. I could be nope, wrong. They didn't. No. Mm. No. Okay. Uh, Disney movie Oodle Alley, Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. Robin Hood, yeah. yeah. What song does Philatiti sing to Hercules? One last, one last hope. Yep, one last hope. Um, compose the singer that composed the soundtrack for Tarzan. Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Phil Collins. What a guy. Wait for that the whole quiz. 
It's a mess now. <laughs> and the song from Camp Rock? No idea. No, no idea. idea. And then you go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. <laughs> it's called This don't, Is Me. Don't, don't, don't go breaking my heart. This is real. This is me. I miss that one. Ah, uh, so an original. Uh, this is me. Is no one seen it? Showman. Has no one seen it? No. no. I've no. seen it, but not recently. Camp Rock. Yeah, it's called This Is Me. Well, years ago then. Okay. Yes. Okay. What is the only Disney song to win a Grammy for Song of the Year? A whole New World. Remember me. Beauty and the Beast. Colors of the Small World after all. No. <laughs> Claire's right. It's a whole new world from Aladdin. Damn it, I was going to put that. Not the Peter uh, Andre and Katie Price version. <laughs> oh, I thought my Celine Dion version of Beauty and the Beast did. Got a Grammy. Mm. Stu's Inquiry. Well, no, <laughs> um, I, I said uh, no, Song I'm... of the Year. I don't know if they got another Grammy for something else, but um, Song, Song of the Year. year. Yeah. yeah. What is the Toy Story um, song that has won an Oscar? When, somebody when she loved, loved, when she loved, loved me. me. Toy Story Toy Story. Oh. Nope, you're right, John. It's We Belong Together from Toy Story. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. We Belong Together from Toy I've, Story. I'd forgotten about I can't even think how that goes. Oh. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> we belong <laughs> together. No. No. And then did anyone get the, the bonus song? Like, what did Fre- uh, You've Got a Friend in Me lose out to? Is so it, I'll be in your heart. Can you feel the love tonight? It was Colours of the Wind from oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Blimey. Okay, Wrong year. So I've got mine as well. So in last place is Lloyd <laughs> with 24. I'll go next. I had 36. You didn't do as badly as you thought you were going to, John. No, but I was helped considerably by the fact that I'd guessed, I guessed well in some points. <laughs> well, I got, I got 30. Got, I got 31. I got 40. 46. Oh. got 40. That's my maths is wrong, but nice. I got 40. Rebecca? I got 40 as well. <laughs> I'm just wondering how we've managed. That. Claire's quiet here. Look at this. Claire? Claire. It's quiet. What'd you get? 42. Oh. Joe oh, won. scored 11 in the last it. round. So that Joe won. Helped. Well done. I won it. I won. What did you get, Joe? 46. Oh, my oh quality score. Considering I got 0 out of 10 in one round. Well done.